Hello, welcome to Twist Grip Tales, and uh, let me introduce you to this amazing machine, 1926, and this is an HRD. Howard Raymond Davies. This is before Phil Vincent started building Vincent's. This is the motorcycle company that Phil Vincent purchased. Howard Raymond Davies was a noted and skilled motorcycle racer. He worked for uh, AJS and Sunbeam. He raced at the Isle of Man successfully. He came second a couple of times. Uh, he even beat uh, Indian at their first attempt at the uh, Isle of Man, coming in second. Uh, Howard Raymond Davies became uh, the first person to uh, win an Isle of Man TT on his own machine. Let's go through what this bike's features are. So we've got at the heart of the machine is a JAP side valve sports engine, a Berman close ratio uh, competition gearbox, beautifully designed saddle uh, tank, which is most unusual for a 1926. Most machines never had saddle tanks until after the 1930s. Very modern styling. Uh, hand shift gear change. Reverse levers, very ergonomic because your hand moves in. So it's, uh, it's, it's got a throttle, not on the twist. So this is not actually a twist grip tail. This is a lever throttle action. Um, long induction. Binks, Binks carburetor. Binks carburetor, which is, uh, thanks Frank. And the um, rigid rear end, the suspension at the rear end is in the seat, at, in your tail. That's where the tail comes from. And uh, brakes here, um, steel drums, not cast iron, front and back. Very small, uh, five and a half inch or five inch uh, steel drums, which uh, if anyone's used them, don't stop you. They just slow the scenery down a little bit. How on earth anyone raced on a machine like this beats the daylights out of me. Big heart and other things. The lighting on this machine is, uh, is a gas, literally, you've got because there. it's acetylene. And, uh, That's right, you've got an acetylene uh, carbon generator producing oh, uh, carbon huge. gas, acetylene I mean, gas, it, it, and uh, hopefully this hopefully is they, of, can, uh, they can tame COVID Lucas. virus over there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, branding, <laughs> it's rocking uh, the king of the road. Which um, I think everybody knows that with the acetylene lighting from Lucas, the only way you can tell it was on by striking a match to see if the light was on. Uh, Lucas, Prince of Darkness, I think was the, uh, the unadvertised uh, um, note that they, uh, they went under. So this is the history. You know, I grew up believing, I'd heard stories that HRD yes. was all yes. about and uh, I've been Phil Vincent up wanting to go in opposition to Harley Davidson. But uh, that's just conspiracy theory. Howard Raymond Davies decided to build a machine that worked, a race machine that worked, because so many of the machines he raced on broke down. So he set out in 1924 to build his own machines. And uh, he had quite a few models and he raced them very successfully. He won the Isle of Man. And as I say, he was the first man to win a machine, win the Isle of Man on his own machine. And he's the first man to win a senior Isle of Man TT on a 350, beating all the 500s. He must have been pretty proud about that. And, uh, but sadly, he was undercapitalized. If you're looking to start up a business, don't be undercapitalized. Howard was. And uh, so he went into voluntary liquidation in 1928, uh, just short of four years of manufacture with fantastic racing credentials from uh, what his machines, uh, he and his machines had achieved. Uh, his machines were uh, set British land speed records. They were raced by uh, guys like uh, Levac at uh, Brooklands. Uh, some of the greatest uh, racers of the time were on his machines and won races, uh, but sadly didn't generate enough money. This machine is one of, um, Frank, come into the picture here. Sure. Uh, I'll, I'll 
My limited knowledge of HRVs is there were approximately 1,500 built, of which there is, on all accounts, a 2% survival rate. Um, no, sorry, and uh, there were 800 built, 800 built, and the 2% survival rate equates to 15 being left in the world. That's complete machines. I believe there are various components that came from the original bikes that are still around, like engines and frames. Yeah, that's quite a rare bike. A rare bike, yes. And uh, and this is before the day of uh, safety rims. These are beaded rims so that if the tyre went flat, uh, you would uh, end up anywhere and everywhere on the road, um, which was uh, very dangerous. It was a great step forward in safety, getting uh, safety rims on motorcycles. And what size wheels are these, Frank? Uh, they're a 21-inch, I believe, a 21-inch rim and one thing the, the framework on these is absolutely out of this world it's got three struts at the rear which most bikes of competition origin have just for rigidity and all of the lugs and the tubing is just beautifully engineered it's it's a lovely finish it's uh, it's a um it's a total loss oil system. So you put oil in the tank and then it just disappears into the disappears engine and goes out the exhaust. Out the exhaust or out the bottom. So uh, a bit like a two stroke, you put the oil in, you never see it again, or the person behind you does. Um, so uh, this is the way, beautifully equipped with uh, a gas tail light and, uh, and the panniers on the back here, leather seat, rear end springing, uh, girder forks on the front, affording uh, nice and of course the lever throttle and you've got timing uh, adjustment here and a lovely beautifully engineered Bakelite uh, steering Andre racing steering steering damper just just beautiful and uh, and this is one of uh, just 14 or 15 complete machines in the world yes of course there were different models this is probably I would say lowly it's a side valve but they also uh, Howard Raymond Davies also manufactured overhead valve 500s, which were most successful on the racetrack. And, uh, and of course, uh, voluntary liquidation, 1928, and then came the Phil Vincent story. Mm -hmm. And, of course, uh, six years after that came the Comet. The Meteor and then the Comet, correct? And, and so the, uh, the Vincent HRD, Vincent HRD story begins... But this, this Frank, thank you, is where it all started. What a great story. HRD, the beginning of Vincent, a very successful racing mark before the Vincent motorcycle. And it all started here with this beautiful 1926, beginning right in 24. This is a 26, finished in 28. Thank you for watching Twist Grip Tales and uh, like, subscribe. And we'll see you next time with more exciting stories of uh, the past, the present and the future of motorcycling. Frank, a pleasure. Thanks again, Bruce. Thank you for the opportunity.